what is up everyone so for this video we'll be starting our fifa 20 career mode with borussia dortmund so i'll be playing in legendary i think ultimate is a little too difficult but if we're doing really really well in legendary i may bump it up to ultimate or i may just do that for the next season anyways there was a kind of an issue the first few games didn't get recorded so we missed some of the footage but the first game the super cup we were triumphant. We started on the right path. A 2-1 win against Bayern. Then the first game of the season, 5-1 win against Augsburg. Then a 2-1 win against Kuhn. That one was a tough game. It was very close. Then a 7-1 win against Union Berlin. That one was really ridiculous. I did not expect to score that many goals. And then we had a 5-1 win against Leverkusen, which was a pretty good win. So in these games, I've been scoring a lot. The problem has just been I can't keep a clean sheet. I keep getting conceded on. So this is the squad that I'm having. Calling up top, Royce on the left, and center attacking mid, Brandt on the right, center attacking mid. Sancho and Guerrero on the wings, left and right wing. Witzel and Emre Chan in the center mid. Uh, Zagadou, Hummels, and Mounier. So I signed Mounier on the center back. And those are the subs, tactics, press after possession, loss, offensive style, balanced, the roles, pretty much voice is doing everything for us. And that's pretty much it. So the first game we're showing is in the Champions League, Dortmund versus Barcelona. I didn't know what to expect from this game. I thought it was going to be a difficult game. But very early on, six minutes in, we get Witzel with a nice through ball pass for Holland, And Holland puts it at the back of the net. I was very happy that I got one goal in very, very early on to really dictate the, the game and where it heads. Because playing against Barca, they always want to keep possession. They want to always be the one controlling the ball. And this is exactly what they did here. So it was one, two, three touch passes with a lot of movement. And then eventually they found space um, with this through ball against Messi. And Messi luckily didn't get to score there. Uh, Berkey blocked it. But that's honestly pretty much all that they had this whole game. And Witzel made a nice standing tackle there, moved the ball outward, and then back to the middle. And then again, this time, I'm not sure if it's uh, Brandt on goal with a through ball. And then he does an incredible cut right here, and then just back in the net. So 2 mil up at home, 30 minutes in against Barcelona. So at that moment, of course, people can get like very confident. It's like, oh, we got the win, but they always come back with something. But here, Hummels had a great, great sliding tackle to prevent, I believe, Leroy Sané, who just got signed to Barcelona. So Brandt on the wing there, running through with the ball. And then he lays it off back to Sancho. Sancho with a, po a shot that hits the post, but then Royce is there to pick it up, put it back in the net. 3-0 up, 60 minutes in. It seems like it's pretty much our game. Uh, so we take out Guerrero for Hazard, we take out Witzel for Delaney, and we, and we put Schultz on the wing where Sancho was at. Probably not the best player you want there. So uh, we're actually going to be putting Pichcek there, since he's more of a creative attacking uh, fullback. And then we had this opportunity here. So uh, we ended up uh, picking up the ball from a cross from Barcelona. Brandt right now doing some tricks, putting uh, Holland through on goal. He takes the shot, hits the post. Vitzel with a shot, gets blocked. Keeper, <laughs> Sancho with the volley, and it goes over the net. Yeah, that one was pretty crazy. I just, I thought I was going to get a goal, but I didn't get anything. Either way, 3-0, perfect win. So now we're playing Frankfurt in the Bundesliga. And in the Bundesliga, we have a perfect uh, streak right now, winning streaks, a lot of goals, very few goals conceded. But of course, we haven't got that clean sheet we want very early on. Or my bad, not very early on. Near the, before the end of the half, we get our goal by Royce, puts it at the back of the net. I think Royce is our goal scorer, if not a joint goal scorer with Holland. And then this was really cool. Sancho with a overhead flick. Royce with the back heel to Witzel, and Witzel uh, to the far end post to Royce, who just puts it nicely back into the net. Everyone celebrating. Beautiful team goal. So then for subs, I decided to take out Guerrero and put 
The hood up top. Hazard on the left. Emre Chan receives the ball from the throw in, passes it to Royce. Royce to Holland. Nice cut, nice turn. Holland, back of the net. And this is something that we'll be seeing a lot from the Bundesliga. Players like Royce, Holland, Brandt, Sancho, and even Witzel scoring a lot of goals. Right now, I'm playing on Legendary and I'm just scoring a lot. Hopefully, I can get a clean sheet in this one. So, the ball ended up at Berkey's feet, and now it's moving along along so many players. And eventually, we actually filter the pass to, through to Dahoud, and then he passes it off to Holland, who just taps it into the net. So, a 4 0 up, 80 minutes in. Uh, an incredible team goal once again, starting from the very end of the goal with Berkey. And the game ends at 4 0. So this is our first clean sheet, I believe, of the season. Look, if you see Haaland, Brand, Brandt, Witzel, Royce in the top five goal scorers, it, it's just really ridiculous. I've been scoring so many freaking goals. Um, we'll see if we can keep that momentum up. Eventually, I do find just some, some random team that is very, very difficult to, to beat, and I end up losing, which costs my winning streak. But here, Witzel put the ball, threw the ball into Holland. Holland just puts it in the back of net. So Dortmund versus Bremen, 1-0 up at 19 minutes. So I haven't had much trouble in the Bundesliga yet, but it could change, especially when we play like a type like Bayern who we beat in the Super Cup, but it was a rough game. I was 1-0 down in that game. And Witzel just carried it, passed it to Holland, smashes in the back of the net. I think if you have Holland in the 18-yard box, it's a kind of a sure goal. There, there's no way the keeper can really stop it. And this one, we were able to clear the ball from our own 18-yard box, and then Brandt just dribbles it through, uh, through pass to Sancho. Sancho's on goal. Sancho will just one thing he has to do and just put it in the back of the net. 3 0 up, 38 minutes in against Bremen. We're in a pretty comfortable lead against Bremen at home. We pretty much have this game to ourselves, and it's going to be another goal scoring kind of arena for us. But Bremen also gets an opportunity here with Bartels on the wing and then Paiva to pass it and back in the net. So there's some times where I just like slip up. Like if you see there, that was at the beginning of the second half. It started from the half and that's what happened. So I, I wasn't concentrating all that much. I let them um, get in the wing, get that cross in, and then they score. And in Legendary, a lot of the times they have great shots. They do time shots. So it's like assured goals. And then here Royce with a nice curl the right foot to the second post 4-1 against Bremen so then I decided to do some subs Witzel for Delaney, Emerchan for Dahoud and that's it so then 4-1 win against Bremen at home Dortmund 6 wins 0 ties, 0 losses Holland at the top with 9 goals we've scored 27 goals, conceded 5 and, and that's the problem, we've conceded 5 Leipzig has scored 15, which is much less than us, but they've only conceded one. So that's the thing that I need to improve on. I need to improve my defensive abilities. Also, so I, I ended up, for whatever reason, not ending up recording this game against Slavia in the Champions League. I won them, or I beat them 1-0, so we're on a perfect run in the Champions League, and that was a very difficult game. All right, so now back to the Bundesliga, this time for against Freiburg. And we scored right off the bat, so they made a mistake, gave the ball away here, and we end up making some effective touches and then getting on the goal. And this was just a beautiful goal. I saw the keeper out a little bit, and I decided, you know what, I'll go for the chip. I got the chip. Royce, with his abilities, of course you would expect this from Royce, with a beautiful chip over the keeper, doesn't even hesitate. Look at that. I just had to see the replay there. I, I typically don't watch replays, I just skip through it to get through the game, but that one I had to watch again. And so we, we make a standing tackle from, and we decide to move the ball and then we get it now into Guerrero on the wing. He passes it to Royce who's on the wing, brings it back, cuts to Delaney, Delaney to Holland, da Holland puts it in the back of the net. 2-0 away from home against Freiburg, 15 minutes in. So I'm anticipating that this is probably what's going to be happening, that I'm just going to be scoring a lot against these teams that 
don't have the same kind of quality as Dortmund and uh, despite being on Legendary, we're just going to be scoring a lot. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if I should bump up the difficulty up to Ultimate. And then here, another goal from Royce. So 3-0 up at 22 minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe Ultimate is where we have to go. So let me know in the comments and maybe I'll start going on Ultimate. And Ultimate is just very frustrating. They, they, if anyone played FIFA 10 and knows about ping pong passes, you'll know that that's kind of how they play in Ultimate. Sancho with the cutback, give it to Holland, back in the net. 4-0 up, 43 minutes. So I'm very much considering we should maybe do Ultimate. Thing is that it's just ridiculously difficult at times like some of the crosses are just perfect they time their time shots are perfect everything just gets in the back of the net and it's a little frustrating but here Vitzel on the wing cuts in passes it to Sancho Sancho in the back of the net 5-0 against Freiburg 57 minutes in and I think uh, it's gonna be interesting since I'm scoring so much it's going to be a battle between my own players for the top goal scorer sheet. Holland is definitely going to be up there. Royce is up there. Sancho hasn't been scoring as much as I'd expect. But definitely Brandt is up there. Sancho could easily get there. So take out Brandt for Hazard. Take out Witzel for Emerchan. So yeah, 5-0 up at 58 minutes. Like it, it, it's honestly kind of easy once you get that momentum when you can move the ball very fast, very efficiently. And in, in this one, like we straight from the the kickoff again, we end up winning the ball right away. And then Hazard's on goal, shoots it back in the net. So 61 minutes in six nil up away from home for Dortmund. And here I slip up. Uh, I fouled them, and then they move the ball pretty fast, and then. This is what I'm talking about. Like, there's moments like this in Legendary as well, not just Ultimate, where they just, like, incredible passes. Like, three, so two one-touch passes there, and then an incredible shot from out to the box, and it's just in. I don't know if that was a time shot, but it was just, like, no way to stop that. 6-1, win against Freiburg, away from home, on top of the Bundesliga. That's where we're at right now. So... Let me know about the ultimate. Should I up, up it up the difficulty up to ultimate? Let me know if you want to continue watching some of this or you want to see some ultimate team footage. Let me know in the comments. If you really like this video, like, subscribe, and do all the comments that you want to let me know what you want me to do in the future in terms of content or any of that kind of stuff. All right, that's it for this one, everyone. Peace.